Hello, Taurus. All right. We are going to do uh, your love reading today. Um, this is going to be about what aren't they telling you? What are they not saying to you, right? What's going on? So if you've had questions or, you know, people have been acting funny or you're getting a weird vibe, let's find out why. Okay. I do have personals open if you are interested. All of that information is in the descri description box below. Sorry. Um, what else? You guys know the deal. Roles reversed. Cross watchers welcome. Check your other placements. You all know that, right? Um, also, stay on the lookout for a notice in my community tab. I am opening an Etsy shop. Okay. All right. Taurus, Taurus, let's freaking get it. What is your person not telling you? What do you need to know? Okay. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune. All right. So coming into the current situation, what's the energy? Well, we have the chariot. Okay. The problem or the challenge from your perspective, right? From what you know right now. The hanged man. Okay. The foundation of the reading. Why is this whole situation? Why are they not telling you whatever it is they're not telling you, right? What's the foundation of the reading for them? The two of wands. Okay. What has happened in the recent past with this person? The Six of Cups. What is the overall or crowning energy? The Ten of Pentacles. Um, what is coming into the near future? The Emperor. Now keep in mind, you know, some of this, for some of you, this is happening right now. For some of you, this hasn't happened yet. For some of you, this has already happened. Okay, so now, how does this person see you? The Seven of Wands. Okay. Um, what is this person hiding or what are they not telling you, right? The Knight of Pentacles. All right, a little OCD. Okay, um, what's your best course of action, your advice, Four of Cups? And the potential outcome, we have the Ten of Swords. Okay. With that uh, Wheel of Fortune on the very bottom of the deck. All right. So coming into the current energy, we have the chariot. Um, now keep in mind, guys, not all these readings are going to be like some, you know, horrible, awful thing that they're hiding. And we never really know what they're hiding or why they're hiding it, right? So coming into the current situation, this this is the chariot. Why do we have the chariot here? Cancerian energy with that chariot. What's going on here? And the eight of cups. This person may have may have um, left. The situation, okay, may have kind of, you know, exited situation, <laughs> exit stage left. Um, and I do feel like they did it in a, in a hurry, right? Yeah, the Ace of Cups. Um, I feel like that, you know, you really thought this was going to be your opportunity with this person, okay? You really thought um, this was going to be a really beautiful new beginning. Um, or this person could have bailed to start another connection just all of a sudden, right? So from your perspective, what's the problem? We have the hanged man here, Pisces energy, okay? So this is from your perspective. What's going on? It's like you're just hanging out trying to figure out what happened. Like they left you on red or something, right? And the page of cups. Yeah, they're not communicating. Very stuck, stagnant energy. They're not communicating with you. So you don't know what the hell is going on. You have no idea what, what why they did, have done what they've done right? Why they've done what they've done. Lord have mercy. And the 10 of wands. Um, you're really, really overwhelmed and burdened about this, especially if this is somebody who left the connection to start another one, right? With this ace of cups here. So here we have the foundation of the reading. Okay. This is from their perspective, what's going on, right? What's going on? The two of wands, they're at a crossroads. They're, they're looking forward. They've already chose what direction they want to go, right? What's this two of wands? And the nine of pentacles. I feel like this person um, really wants to, um, I just feel like there's a timing issue, I guess is what I'm saying. I feel like this person is finishing up some things. Um, and needing to be single for that, for whatever reason.
and a tower. Something drastic ha happened to this person. Okay. Why this is doing this? Um, and I feel like they just bailed. All of a sudden, they literally just bailed. It's like their side of the bed is still warm, but they're already gone. So the recent past, we have the Six of Cups, right? This is somebody that you've known for a while, past life soulmate, current life soulmate, somebody that you just somebody that you already are aware of, somebody that you already know, somebody that you knew before you, you know, came together, okay? And the Page of Swords. Why is this Page of Swords here with the Six of Cups? And the Knight of Cups. I feel like this person um, really wanted to come towards you and maybe still does. But this Page of Swords energy, it's like they're being cautious and kind of like peeking their head around the corner. Um, and I feel like maybe they just came forward with this offer too soon before they realized that there was something going on they were going to have to take care of. Okay. I feel like, I feel like it's just timing. I feel like they just came towards you too soon. Um, and then something happened in their life, right? Whatever this tower moment is, and we'll do our best to find out what that is. So the crowning energy is this 10 of pentacles, right? Why is this 10 of pentacles here? 10 of pentacles clarified by the 10 of pentacles. It's a couple things. This person, um, really could have had some kind of financial downfall. They also could have taken, like, I mean, they literally could just be gone. Um, they may have, like, taken a work contract or something like that that took them far away from you. Because I'm getting that, but it was for money, right? And with this Ten of Pentacles, I feel like this person is in the energy of, um, I'm doing this for the relationship, right? I'm doing this to secure our future. I'm doing this so that we, um, you know, so that not just myself, but my partner has stability, Right? But they didn't verbalize that to you. They didn't tell you that. They just bailed and left you hanging. And the Queen of Pentacles, they, they, I feel like this person wants you to have it all. There's your earth energy, Taurus. It's like this person wants to settle down with you. They want to have a lot of money and this is what's going to get them there, right? They just didn't tell you. So coming into the, uh, the future, we have this emperor. Who is this emperor? What's going on? You guys, the emperor clarified by, I can't, I held it. There we go. The emperor. This person is doubling down on their money, their power, whatever is going on here. If they, if they just vanished, um, they're coming back with a whole lot of money and a whole lot of power. A whole lot of money and a whole lot of power. Like some huge promotion, some, I mean, just something big. What is this emperor clarified by the emperor here for Taurus? and the empress. So this is one of those things where this is, I mean, yes, they should have communicated with you, but they literally, I, I mean, I feel like this person just all of a sudden, you know, got a phone call or an offer or whatever it was and they bounced. So how they see you, the seven of wands. Um, I feel like they know um, that you're unraveling a little bit, but that you're trying to keep it, you know, you're trying to keep your peace. But you've got all these questions and all these thoughts and all these worries, you know, just coming at you all the time. And the Queen of Cups. They see you as very loving, very kind, very giving, very intuitive, very sensitive. And I feel like they realize that you're in love with them, right? That Queen of Cups is, is a lot of love. And the Four of Pentacles hanging on to you, right? I feel like this person is aware that um, they caused you a moment, right? Maybe even more than one moment. So what are, what's, what are they hiding? What are they not telling you? Well, we have this Knight of Pentacles. And I feel like this energy here is the energy of someone who has been working on advancement or opportunities or um, just working on their money for a long time now. And I think what happened is all of a sudden it came through and they couldn't ignore it. Right. It, and it certainly could be like something overseas or something they had to travel to do. Right. It could, it can be that like that tower moment because they're just all of a sudden gone. Okay. So what is this Knight of Pentacles? What's going on here? Yeah. The seven of Pentacles. This person has, um, 
laid the groundwork for a very successful future. And it literally just all of a sudden came through for them. Give me one more for the Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. And the Three of Wands. I feel like this person did take a job where they had to travel. I feel like they had to cross water. Okay. So that's not going to resonate for all of you. And not all of you is going to be, you know, maybe this person just took another job in another city. It doesn't matter or wh wherever they went. But I feel like for a lot of you, um, this is somebody who is, you know, cross the pond, so to speak. So what is your best course of action with this four of cups here? You know, this four of cups, she looks, you know, bored, unfulfilled. But she doesn't even notice that that beautiful cup is right next to her, right? She just doesn't even see it yet. So I think they're literally telling you to hold tight. Like, hang on. Give it a minute. Yeah, and the moon. Um, they're not telling anybody about this situation because they're not supposed to be telling anybody about this situation, okay? This person certainly just kind of like went dark on you. Give me one more for the four of cups and the moon. I feel like they're just, they're telling you to trust the universe and the five of wands. I, I feel like this is the energy in this, in this deck. Um, I don't know if you can see it very well with the lights that I have. I don't know how to work this stupid thing. Anyway, it's a bunch of dragons. Okay. That was a failed attempt at getting you to understand, but it's a bunch of dragons flying around. And, um, I feel, I feel like right now, um, this person is really gotten swallowed up by a lot, but they're going to come through for you. I just feel like the main, the main goal here is to not be defensive and just trust the path. Um, and this could be something that there's a lot of drama surrounding also with that five of wands, but I feel like they're just telling you to hang on and trust the process. So the potential outcome is the 10 of swords, right? The end of a painful situation. And the, the end of confusion, the seven of cups. Why is this the end of confusion and the end of a, of a painful cycle? I feel like, you know, you're, you're in pain. You don't know what's going on with this person. You don't know where they're at. And the seven of swords, there's a strategy here. This person is strategizing. It could be somebody that has like a military contract or is like in law enforcement somehow, or does something that's, you know, kind of, um, on the sly. But I don't feel like this person is, um, yeah, the three of cups, there's going to be a reunion and happiness. I don't feel like this person is being sneaky for the purposes of, of, of being manipulative. Right. So here we have the wheel of fortune. Okay. So certainly, um, I do feel like there's a timing issue, but the universe is going to come through for you on, oh, we have the, the, uh, 10 of cups, right. With this fulfillment, um, and the six of wands. I do. I feel like this person, um, just has something that they have to take care of that they can't ignore, but you're going to have success in this relationship. Um, and the Knight of wands, as quick as they left, they're going to come back in. Right. And here we have the world, right. Ending this cycle, like that 10 of swords cycle. And we have the death and the rebirth card, right. Starting a brand new cycle, right. The end of one, the beginning of another. And here we have the four of wands. Oh, beautiful. And the sun. And also we have this seven of cups. So it's like, you know, here's your happy ending with the four of wands. And then we've got, you know, the sun shining the light on all of those, all of those, you know, seven of cups, the confusion, right? They're going to, you're going to, you're going to know why they, why they did what they did. Okay. All right, Taurus, that's what I got for you. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. Um, if you want a personal reading, all of that is in the description box below and I'm sending you tons of love and light until next time.